Hey guys, it's Liz. So first things first, I wanted to address, yes, I've been a little bit MIA this week. So sorry about that guys. Ethan was sick and he's still a little bit sick. So this last week I felt like I didn't really have energy, but now that's passed. Like I'm just so motivated now. Also, Eric is on vacation. So a lot more videos coming your way, you guys, I promise. But today's video is going to be my 33 through 34 week bump date. So I actually have a lot to update you guys on. So let's just go ahead and get right into it. So the first thing I actually wanted to do is kind of look at my app with you guys because honestly, I haven't looked at it in so long. I I don't know, I've just been busy and I guess I don't have any excuses, but I finally want to look at my app. So, oh my gosh, we have the baby's now the size of a cantaloupe. What the heck? That is huge. No wonder I've been feeling so, so big. I've been feeling so big. I've really feel so pregnant right now. Eric always tells me like, why are you wobbling? Or you're wobbling because he knows like, I'm just like, shut up. Why are you walking like that? <laughs> of course I'm wobbling, I'm freaking huge. So I'm definitely feeling so, so pregnant right now, you guys. And like, that's because probably only have like basically five more weeks until the baby's here. And also, I don't know, I kind of have this feeling that I'm not sure. So I have this feeling that he might come early just because I've been having so much vagina pain down there. It hurts so bad, you guys. Like, I'm like, I'm not going to sugarcoat it. I feel the most pain down there when I'm like sleeping at night and I have to like toss and turn or if Emma like tells me she has to go pee in the night and I have to get up and it's just like so painful just to like get up or like move to my side, move to my side. And what else, what, when else do I feel it? I forget. I should have wrote this stuff down. <laughs> when I'm like walking or about to like like get up and do something, I like have a lot of pain down there. And also you guys, that leads me up to the next like symptom I've been feeling, which is contraction pains. I've been feeling a lot of Braxton Hicks contractions. I could just be like going about my day and then I feel like like a lot of pain, not, not in my vagina area, but like just in my stomach. And I'm just like, oh my gosh, like I'm like my heart drops every time. Like I get one of those Braxton Hicks. I'm not really used to them. I never really got them with Ethan or Emma. So it's a little bit scary, but you know, I never get like constant and just one contraction and like, and then it's gone. But yeah, those have been scaring me though. I'm just like, oh, I really don't want to have this baby early. Please, please, like I'm not ready. Well, I am ready, but like, I don't know. I'm just enjoying the rest of my pregnancy. So yeah, those are some major things I've been feeling these last couple weeks. And also, let me go to my notes because eh, I forget. Oh, also, I've been having a lot of acid reflex. You know, if I'm just eating like a meal, if I just get finished, it's kind of, you know, a little bit gross, but I like throw up a little bit in my mouth. Like, I feel like it's just like this, like it's like a wave in my like chest area and my throat. But I noticed that a lot. I was like, what the heck? Like, what's wrong with me? Why can't my like food just go down like a normal human being? But yeah, so I've been feeling a lot of acid reflex. And also a huge one too. I have a lot of Charlie horses now. Like, oh, it's so annoying. <laughs> Cause if I'm like laying in bed and like I try to move or something and my leg is like hurting and throbbing and I'm just like, oh, like I point my foot like straight. If you put your foot, like foot out, like your toes out and stretch it out, like it helps with the Charlie horse and it kind of gets rid of it right away. But oh, when it happens, I'm just like in so much pain. And also like another like, whew, I'm talking too fast. This video is going to have to be edited. <laughs> so another thing with my legs, I've actually been noticing that they've been falling asleep so much. Like I know like it's common, you know, your leg falls asleep, ow. But like I feel like every time I'm like crisscross on the floor, playing with the kids on the floor, like I can't sit like that for long. I have to like kind of lay down to play with them because if I like crisscross, my leg is just like dead. And I'm just like, ah, so I have to like stretch it out. And it's just so annoying that it's just falling asleep all the time. But now I'm starting to like play with them on the couch and just kind of like lay down there. And then they'll bring their toys to mama and we'll play with their toys on the couch. So yeah, what else? Oh, also this is a really cute one. So when the baby's moving, like, wow, like he, I could feel those kicks. It's like, sometimes i'm just like how like his kicks are starting to hurt me now and i'm like oh this little boy like he's trying to hurt his mama i'm just kidding i know he's not trying to hurt me but he's just getting so strong but it makes me so happy when he moves like that because he's just getting so big and it just blows my mind that he'll be here in like basically like a month 
a little over a month you guys oh it's so exciting and also we basically have everything for the baby i'm just waiting on like a couple more things in the mail and then i'll go ahead and do a second baby buys haul we got the car seat stroller swing and all that good stuff so you guys will definitely see that baby buys haul like the last one very very soon okay so i think this is like the last symptom i've been feeling like this last week i was actually like low in energy i was like I didn't want to do anything. I kept procrastinating and probably because my mom's been here and you guys have been such a help. She's been doing my laundry. She like cleaned my garage. She's been doing the dishes and it's just so like maybe that's why I've been a little low energy because I'm like my mom's here and I get to like get away with the stuff but she's actually leaving tomorrow. We have to drop her off and yeah I'm really sad about that but Eric's mom's coming with his dad so we're gonna get like you know an array of help from different people so I'm really excited and yeah so that is it for all the symptoms and now we're gonna go ahead and get into the cravings so you guys the thing i've been craving so much it's so frustrating because i don't like that i've been craving this so much so i crave like coke zero like i try to like not drink soda soda so i always try to get like a diet pepsi a coke zero mostly a coke zero because that's like my favorite soda right now and it's just like the fact that i'm drinking soda like i never used to drink soda ever like I would always just have water, coffee, and that's it. You know, it was just like water, coffee, and juice. But now, all I want is a soda. I just don't like the fact that I'm craving soda because it's just so odd for me. I'm not like a soda drinker, but like this baby or me right now, I'm just like all about that Coke Zero. But yeah, so that is like my major craving right now. And also, I don't think I've been craving like a certain something. I just really really like to snack like i'm a snacker right now i want to eat like all the time like just snacks i'm not really even in the mood for like an actual full meal i just like to like grab a snack grab a snack grab a snack and uh, it's just so annoying because i'm just like i promised myself i was going to try to be healthy but you know sometimes these cravings are, like overrun <laughs> my motivation to be healthy but i'm honestly not too upset about it i know this is like my last month i'm still trying to like take it easy with all the snacks i've been eating but i'm just basically taking it day by day and yeah also i guess i'll tell you guys like my plans like my bucket list i wanted to share with you guys my bucket list for this pregnancy so uh, i just thought it would be cool to like just share with you guys like things i want to get done just like personal things so Eric and I are going to be taking a baby moon. If you don't know what that is, it's just like a little getaway. It's only going to be for like a day, like a day and a half or something. When Eric's mom comes, she's going to watch Ethan and Emma. And we're going to go out and just like, I don't know, just have our time to be alone. And just like, I don't know, I think it's really important to like connect before the baby comes. Because when the baby comes, it's definitely not going to be easy. So, you know, I want to take that time to like, you know, reconnect and like have a little spark in our relationship. And like, we still have that spark, but it's just nice, you know, not have to worry about the kids and just like, just have alone time, I guess. So I'm really excited about that. And also I want to do a photo shoot as well, like lots of photo shoots actually. I want to do a little sexy one, you know, and also just like a really cool like maternity photo shoot. So I just wanted to do a array of photo shoots before I give birth because honestly you guys, I don't know if this is going to be the last baby. I'm just, I don't know. So I'm definitely trying to enjoy it as much as I can. And I also want to take a tour of the hospital before we give birth. I never did that with Ethan and Emma. And I just kind of like, when I was in labor, I just went. But I just really want to check out the hospital, get a tour, and just kind of get a feel of it before I actually do go in labor. So I feel like the rest of the stuff, I don't want to like spoil too much. So I'll keep those to myself. But I did want to share some things I do have on my bucket list before I have baby number three. So yeah, let's just go ahead and get into the belly shot now. I am so freaking big. I feel like a monster right now. I always tell Eric, I'm like a monster. Do you think a monster, babe? Oh my goodness, he's answered to everything. Well, what do I want him to say, huh? Sure I'll be pissed if he says that like many thing, right? Uh, just stop, dude. I'm gonna take out everything you just said. <laughs> okay, so this is how my belly is looking at 34 weeks pregnant. I feel so big. So excited to see this baby grow. This side. I feel like I'm definitely carrying low as well. Okay, so I put some pants on. This is how my belly is looking. Super itchy. Yeah, so this is how the tummy looks. It's just the skin. I'm pretty sure it's just a matter of time. I swear, like the 38 week mark. What? What is there a stretch mark? He's all looking. <gasps> Eric! 
leg. There's nothing bad with stretch marks too, guys, because get you a guy that loves you stretch marks. It's like something natural. Like. <laughs> you gotta go pee pee. Okay, pee pee break, sorry. guys so that is it for my 33 34 week bump day i hope you guys enjoyed it thumbs up subscribe Woo! i see my little youtube baby huh <laughs> okay guys you heard it from emma thumbs up and subscribe we'll talk to you guys in our next video Bye. Bye. <laughs> you're so dang cute